are you ready? Yeah. All yes. right. I'm ready. Now you do our I'm intro. Ready. Everybody else, put yourself on mute, please. And John, take it away. Okay. Um, Angie D'Amico has been involved with the with the Special Olympics as well. No, hold on. A Angie D'Amico has been involved in the Special Olympics as an athlete for 23 years and a health messenger for seven years. Oh, oh wow. She is also a Special Olympics Connecticut staff member, global messenger, and a health leader, health and a leader of our health team in Connecticut. And she plays volleyball with her team, Cheshire, and she enjoys arts and crafts, walking on the track and go out with her friends. Take it away, Angie. Thank you, John. Um, so today we are going to be making cheesy pochetta bites. So <laughs> for right now, I for the website calls for 10, but we only making sets for the demonstration. So I am going to go over the ingredients with our one container of the aloe barley, oh, sorry, oh. the aloe barley and herb soft cheese bread. Then we, then, then you need these small shells which are in your frozen grocery store um, near the t-shirts. Then we have um, five warm tomatoes cut finely chopped, but I always chop the, um, the um, tomatoes, but I use a bigger tomato so we can get more tomatoes. Um, mice, garlic. Um, but if you cannot my garlic, you can actually buy the garlic in a always job. So it will tell you how much it is, like for each tablespoon or five kilo. Um, then we have fresh basil, which you can find at your grocery store. Um, two teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, olive oil. Everyone know what olive oil is. Um, and salt and pepper. So. Make sure that you are comfortable using the oven. If uh, you are, you put a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet and preheat your oven for 350 degrees. Place the mini, mini fellow sh shells in a bake for five minutes. This wow. is what they look like when you come out of the um, oven. So when that is in the oven, you can chop the tomato in a bowl, tomato, tomato in a bowl, and I base call it balsamic vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper to steak. Stir together and side aside. Okay, everyone see that? Yes. Um and then um 
um, you don't need to do this step. You can do it with a spoon or whatever is comfortable with you. Um, but they said to grab a plastic baggie in a cup or bowl, fill the baggie in the cup so that you can scoop the car like herb cheese in a like. Angie, I think you're on mute. We can't hear you. Okay, I don't know where I left off. Um, after you held up the creamy stuff. All right. Um, sorry about that. I did not know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So now, right now, I am going what? to fill the cup. But be very, very careful when you fill it up because it could wait. So I get my spoon, get my cheese. Mm -hmm. They take a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. And you can do it this way. Or you can do it on the counter and then have one of your fingers on um, the spoon and add a little bit and make sure that the bottom is all um, like filled with the cheese like this. And then Then you add your tomato, basil, garlic, salt and pepper, balsamic vinegar, do the shell. And um, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Can everyone see that? Yes, we can. Looks good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that, that basically a, um, so I'm going to go over some of uh, my play. So this is like my play, like by some like carb is the uh, shelled, the cheese is dairy, the tomato are food and veggies. Um, so it very low in calorie and very healthy. And even for people who aren't Weight Watchers, it's three points and the serving size is three bites. Thank you. Excellent. That was great. Does anybody have any questions for Angie about her recipe? You can unmute yourselves if you like. I'm gonna, um change the view back to gallery. Hey, oh. Angie, what did, is it good? Oh, no. Yes. I think it do carefully for me, but I think it definitely up to you if you don't like a lot of garlic. It definitely like your, like it definitely up to you. Looks like Natasha has her hand up. Do you have a question? Yes. So Angie, uh, that is uh, about this recipe. Um, since I'm a Special Olympics coach now, like, um, could I share that, um, like, um, through my, like, um, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like references, because I'm keeping all the all the recipes together so so I can so, so I can I can like references what do you think, what do you think about the idea? Oh really good. Are you thinking that also from the help message booklet that I gave you like a couple years ago? Of course. Yeah. So because especially um I realized 
I guess they're like um, two different names. One is the health leader and one is the um, health messenger. So those are different. Different. Is that right, Angie, I think? I, uh, well, why not? <laughs> we actually change the name to health messengers instead of health leaders. Oh. So that why I do why do encourage all my be my athletes on my team. They are called health messenger, not health leaders. That was way back. Yeah. 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 But that was um, like what we did, what we did last year, right, Debbie? Yeah, I think we wanted to make it consistent with global messengers. Yeah. Right. But we're all we all kind of like all fall under the umbrella of athlete leadership. So yeah, yeah, in definitely. different ways. So like a global messenger is more of a spokesperson for the organization. A health messenger focuses on health and fitness and what Angie does. Um, mm -hmm. And then we have coaches who are leaders and um, board members like Kimberly. So there's different um, yeah. roles that fall under the mm -hmm. athlete leadership umbrella, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, not just like I'm on the board, but I'm under Angie because I'm under another health messengers, which I'm which I'm glad to say that I'm gonna be another health manager year again with her, as well as a global messenger as well. Great. Erin, you have your hand up. Do you have a question for Angie? Yeah, absolutely. Let's look. Sorry, I have two yeah, cameras, two though. Cameras, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the first one, I was trying to get my face on there, and my I had to use my phone. So, sorry. Oh, sorry. It works. I think you're just echoing, so maybe you can mute one or something like that. Or what is All right, if you can hear me. All right. Oh, we can't hear you now. Uh, Deb, well, one last thing, like, um, since... Right. We'll hop since, over to you in a second, Natasha. Let's just oh. let Erin finish and then we'll back, we'll go back to you, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's on mute. He's on mute. Is he still on mute? Yes, he's on mute. He's still right, on mute. Aaron, we can't hear you. Let's he's try. Here, here he comes, okay. Okay, I just mute, I just mute the other one, though, because my camp, my... I was trying to like unmute myself with the camera and the and the thing and all that stuff. So, so I'm on this right now. Um, so what is the good thing when you make your meals? Now, what do you usually use though? Do you have like five different recipe, five different recipe greens that you have on there, or do you have like four different greens? Because sometimes when I make my meals, I usually find stuff in in cookbooks. And whatever stuff I can find, like in a cookbook, like say one day if I want to make homemade lasagna, that I usually do sometimes. Or if I'll do is like I'll make homemade shepherd's pie. Now, stuff like that I can make. It's mostly real easy. But to you, what do you usually use sometimes in your greens? And what are you alert? Are you allergic to any other other uh, spices or no? I'm not allergic to um anything so i did don't like a lot of garlic and a lot of spicy food okay i'm very i am definitely a picture picky eater so the question about like meal prep i only live on my own so it's very hard for me to meal prep and I get tired of the same food every like every other day. So um, one of my friends who actually works with me in the Special Olympic told me about like this um prepared food prepared food um a, a all fresh a, a a in East Haven. Okay. So, so we, I do, I do pick that up. So, so like any, so like any, any type of foods that you usually find, like say, if you go to the store and you say, well, if you, if you, if you pick a, you pick a recipe from like from whatever you see on a book, and you say like, okay, I want to make that one day. So you want to 
ha- buy all the stuff at the store. And then when you buy all the stuff, you bring it home. And then you look at all your ingredients of exactly what you just added and everything else on all that stuff, right? Yeah, definitely. No, oh, that's good. Because I'm also a cook myself. Because that's why I like cooking things. Because anything I mostly see, I will mostly put in... I'll look up in a recipe. I'll look up at a nice, good recipe. Sometimes the recipes usually ask for, like, say, for two serving meals. You don't want to do two serving meals. You want to do one meal because you're only one person. So, but thank you. No problem. Great. We have a couple of comments in the chat here. So let's go over to that for Angie. Uh, Megan says, I eat healthy, like dark chocolate. I eat less at meal times at dinner time, right, Megan? She's still with us or did she leave? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Did I get that right? Yes, I try to eat less now, I'm not eating too many carbs. Angie, I'm not trying to eat too many carbs and stuff, so I'm trying to eat less than that. Mm. And it makes me healthier. What do you think, Angie? I mean, I, I um, <laughs> Secondly, I'm trying to do that also, but I'm <laughs> trying to get there. Mm-hmm. Make that three of us. <laughs> I'm trying to eat less stuff now. Good. Not too much junk. Um, Kimberly says, uh, has a question for you, Angie. For the scooping into the shell, is it half or less of less than half of a spoon to put on it? Um, it depends how much you want to use. Um, probably like one, one, one. Hi guys. One Thanks, one Max. half teaspoon. Dude. Did I enter it? Thumbs up. <laughs> yes. Stanley, Stanley, do you have a question? <coughs> I think you're on mute. Just unmute yourself there. Press the little microphone in the corner of your screen. Yep, just press the little microphone, Stanley. I think I might have muted you before. All right, well, we'll try to come back to Stanley. Um, Alexandra, did you have a question? Yes, what happens when you overeat? Ah. Well, if you overeat, you're going to gain weight, basically. Is that good or bad? I bad. Why is that bad? Because your stomach will feel very full. <laughs> And you don't want that. You want to to, why to eat more healthier and have more veggies and have more fuel and to drink a lot of water. Like this kind? Yeah. Definitely. Or this. Whatever, whatever water you want. That's why I think Chris Light because that's kind of helps me to get it. Like, you know, it's by base, but still helps me to keep me being hydrated. Yeah, I put stuff in my water too. I prefer the lemonade because I just like that flavor. Yeah, whatever works. Mm. Yeah. Stanley's back. Mm. I think he's unmuted. Go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> ask your question. Good, Stanley. Um, you can evolve uh, the special effects. By involved in special effects? Yeah. Yes. I I only pull a soccer. I mean, not soccer. I'm sorry, volleyball. The volleyball. Thank you, John. You're welcome. <laughs> She's on the Cheshire team, right? Yeah. Well, John, not boy. 
He would like to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's what that's a holiday classic sport. So you'll start practices for that again when in September. Mm, yeah, I, I think, so. think so. Yeah. September. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because golf, because golf starts uh when in June. Yeah. The practices start in June or something. Like after summer came. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try a new sport this year, golf. Excellent. Mm. I love hearing you try new I'm things. Gonna, That's great. I'm going to try it. I got to try counting to four first. <laughs> <laughs> the, only hard, the, only hard part, the only hard part is, is making sure when you do golf, oh, right. you got to be full. <laughs> yeah, I'm like him. I also switched from basketball. To now, um, now Angie. Yes. I have a question. Um, how, how much garlic do you add? I'm sorry. How much garlic do you add? Yeah. All right. And she left. Did I say something wrong? No. Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> Did I say something? Oops. <laughs> He was coming um, back. It's a week hello. Okay. All right. Because oh, I don't, okay. when I go to sleep I, at, at night, I don't want to oh, smell like a garlic, oh, piece of garlic. Oh, so, garlic. so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't, well, yeah. well, you won't smell like garlic, though. It's as long as you don't put too much in the plate, because yeah. sometimes the whole entire kitchen. We'll smell like garlic, though, and you don't um, want to do that. Does, uh, is is there something that, that could actually tone it down a little bit, or no? Like a substitute that could tone it down or something? I mean, you don't need to put it in. Okay. Yeah. But... Do you, you use fresh garlic? To... What? Do you use fresh garlic cloves, or do you use, like, bottled or garlic? It does. I mean, I use the fresh one. But if you don't like a lot of garlic, cut it down. Count count into like one clove or like so you still have the taste. Mm. So you would they literally cut it down. Yeah. Okay. How many of you are gonna try this recipe at home? Me, I probably will though. If if you if you guys got if you guys got a copy of it though, I will make the yeah. recipe. Everyone can eat a copy of a a twenty five dollar gift card after this um Zoom call. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Very generous. Like last week, I just made, I just made, um, uh, what did I make? I made, I made like a, a, like a huge homemade lasagna though. Like with, not, not, not with the, not with the, um, not with the holes. The ones I made was all flat and it had like, it had layers and, um, had hamburger on the bottom, uh, my, 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 uh, veggies and everything else. So, and then a uh, layer of cheese. Mm. And some other stuff mm. to go with it, and then when oh, I had that, mm. I it was really good. I'll tell you, I love it. I love it. Sound like a good cook too, Aaron. Mm. You see the stuff that I cooked, though, man. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. I just had the LT about five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, Any other shit. questions for Angie? <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, Albert. Uh, Angie, um, Deb, I made that when I'm we well we made that um, recipe the the zucchini recipe that you did and it was delicious and I I had it for a couple of days and it was delicious. Well, I'm happy that you liked it. Yes, I did. Okay. We're going to be gonna... growing our zucchinis again pretty soon, right? Is everybody, does anybody have a garden? I, I have a garden. Yeah. I don't, but I want to make one. Mm. Oh. Sometimes there's farmer markets, farmer's markets, right? And in town, you can get some fresh vegetables. Ryan, do you have a, mess, a question for Angie? Yes, I do. 
Go for it. I'm interested in being a healthy leader. How do I do that? How do you do that? <laughs> um, I actually were going to um, I so you can contact me um through my email with Debbie Wilberfy um. Okay. And I will put you on the list for doing new health met for help metrics. Yes, thank you. You're I can welcome. help him any way I can. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Good recruiting meeting, Andy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too, Dan. Yes. Any other questions or comments about the recipe or, yeah, go ahead, Natasha. So, by the way, um, I have a question though. I'm um, um, really good format of the, <laughs> of the recipe, good job. And then also, I would like to know, like, um, the bake for, um, for the health and wellness department, uh, I, I was thinking, like, no. do they have those virtual, virtual um, health and fitness um, webinars? I would like to, mm -hmm. I would like to join those, because um, I know there's, like, I would like to know more about health and wellness, like, I do that to, I, I would like to attend more well, webinars. What do you think about that, Angie? What is she saying? Uh, Something new. I hmm. think I need to talk to Caitlin and Paige about that one. So, um, yeah, I might enter. And we're going to have um, Susie yeah. from, from Health, the clinician that Angie brought in earlier in the year. She's going to be speaking at our in-person training, right, Angie? So we're going to have a focus on health um, at that at the in-person meeting. So if you haven't responded to that, um, please let me know. Hopefully, all of you on the call can come. I know there's one or two of you that might not be able to make it, but you know, Stanley, we hope you can come, and Jake, we hope you can come, and um, there's Remy. Hey, Remy, how are you? <laughs> there's, um, um, Debbie, am I coming too? We'd love to have you come to the in-person training on May 20th. What, what so day? What day is May that? 20th. It's a Saturday. 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 May 20th. I may have to come to my first lesson. Oh, what time is that? At 1. Maybe you could come for part of the day. Maybe you can come from like 9.30 till 12 or something like that. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That can walk. Come yeah. back and come, come back and... That's true. Maybe lunch in the afternoon, I think. Yeah, maybe you could just come from the morning session. That would be great yeah, yeah, yeah. for a little bit. Right. Okay, thank you. Sure. Anybody else have any questions for Andy or anything else? It's about 5.30, so we can wrap up a little early yeah. and talk about anything else you'd like to talk about since we're no, together. Yeah. yeah, so Remy, Angie, um, Angie, you want to catch her up a little bit? Yeah, um, I did made um, Gigi bruschetta pies, which here, I'll show you what they look like. Here, we'll spotlight you so she can everybody can see it real big. Oh, nice, nice, nice. nice. So nice. it is all you will need is the cheese, of course. Um, the shells, tomatoes, basil, olive oil, and um, garlic, and salt and pepper. Can you use different kind of cheese or just that cheese? You can use whatever you want. Okay. All right. Whatever kind of cheese I want. Yeah. Make it no, sure that I, it's supportive. No, I, I didn't know if that was healthier or not. It is healthy. Okay. I bet you're dying away is. Okay. Mm. 
And tell Remy what we're going to send out after the meeting, Ange. Um, after the meeting, we are going to send everyone the Webby a twenty-five dollar gift card. It's not the shop. Okay. Oh wow! Good. Good. We'll put it away. Yeah. Do that. We lost it. Oh. All right. So, does anybody have any more questions for Angie or anything else that they want to talk to related to Global Messenger? Okay. We'll we'll take Stanley and then we'll go to Ryan. Um, okay. Go ahead. How do you get the 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 I'm going to email it to you tomorrow. In my email, I'll include the recipe that Angie gives me, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And in the email that I send out tomorrow, it'll be there. Oh, okay. Okay? Good question. Okay, go ahead, Ryan. Okay, my question for you is, do you know the location where the, um, the 20th will be in person meeting? Yes, it's at a new location. It's a beautiful location. Angie and I went to go check it out. It's Choate Rosemary Hall. So it's a private school in Wallingford. And they have a really nice um, facility there. They have a nice meeting room. They have a big gym that I think we're going to be able to use, right, Angie? Um, and they have a nice um, big uh, outdoor area. So when we do our exercise activity, if it's nice weather, maybe we can even do it outside. But I think you guys will really like it. It's a different facility. I wanted to get it a little bit closer north. I know we've got, you know, like Alexander coming up from Greenwich and we got people, um, you know, Logan up in Enfield and, some people up north Hartford yeah. way. So um, I was trying to find something a little bit more central. I'm hoping that's a little bit more convenient for hey, you guys. Hey Debbie, in, yeah. in the past we had um the, the summer games there. Oh really? Um, yeah, yeah we had, one one year we had the summer games there back in the early nineties, I think. Wow. What? I think back in the early nineties we had we had um we um back at Cho Rosemary Hall we had all the events and everything back when I was like a rookie back in 91 or 92. We had, we had that. Okay. Uh, so, so we, so we, so I, I know a little bit about it, but you know, it's been a long time. Yeah. yeah, it's really been a long time. Yeah, I think you guys will, will like it. I think it's a really great place. And then I'm thinking we'll go back to Yale West for our fall event, if that's okay. Is that good, okay? Yeah, I think they did a really good job um, with lunch, and just with you know, the facility, the auditorium. There's lots of breakout rooms we can use. So, um, yeah, we're going to look at some dates in November for that. You know, we'll try to get that booked early so you guys can save the date, the date on your calendar and all. Uh, I didn't go inside. I, 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 I stayed on the field. I was outside. Ah, okay. I was outside and track. It's a pretty you know? big campus. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty a, it's, big campus, yeah. so we'll make sure that we have directional signs. And, I, I was, um, like, up on the hill and everything else, you know, oh. way up on the hill near the uh, – um, Right, right near where the, yeah, it's like right on top of the football field. Okay. Like right, right on, in the track area where the shop put area was and everything. I don't even right. know if we saw that, Angie. Yes. I, I think yeah, it's it right was, in the back. Yeah. Because I think oh, it's, when it was like right nice kind of on the main, off of the main road. So we don't even think we saw any of the fields, right, Angie? So, so Deb, yeah. um, mm -hmm. I realized. I don't um, think so. But I, like since I'm in Taunton, I mean, there's a way like um like go like um directly from Hartford down to Wallingford. That is the that is the that is the shortest way because ah. Hartford Hartford is where I have been there. Like um when I when I was chosen to go to the World Games in were in Austria. Um, it isn't that far at all. So that means that means if if you go to the south region, Wallingford, it is the it is the fastest way route. Excellent. Okay, great. So we can let folks know that that it's not that bad. And if anybody has a <laughs> transportation, maybe I can kind of share that with others in the group, and maybe some people can carpool together or something like that, just to yeah. make it easier. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. 
Well, my parents are coming with me anyway, so uh, they'll, they'll be there with me and everything. So great, excellent. Yeah, it was great to have them with us last time, Aaron. That's really great. And just well, to give you a heads up on what Angie and I are putting together, I mentioned that we're going to have Susie do one of the sessions. We're also going to have Gino from the board of directors. He's going to do our kickoff in the morning. He's nice. Up. Yeah, yeah a lot of you guys know Gino, right? He's gonna keep. Yeah. Yeah. I know Gino from the board. Yeah, exactly. So um, he's gonna kick things off, and our our fellow global messengers, um, Ray Haddon and Nick Sinicori, they're gonna do one of the breakout sessions with mm -hmm. you guys. They're gonna lead that. So what um, Angie and I are really excited about is having you know you guys be the leaders exactly. of some of these trainings. You know, sharing your expertise, just mm -hmm. like Angie did today. Um, I know Abby reached out to the physical trainer where she works. She's working on putting something together for you guys. So um, I love that you guys are reaching out to your to people that you know to bring them into our group to share their expertise, just like Alexandra did bringing in Jamie um, Warner last week, who is fantastic um, and is so dedicated to Special Olympics. Um, Remy, do you have your hand up? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so about the recipe. Um, I was wondering about the, the shells. Um, do we know how much like carbs and sugar it has? Um, it's on the side. Great question. I know it usually I know it usually tells you on the uh, the back of it though exactly of the of the right. calorie counts. Yeah, talking about calorie counts. Six. Um, since, I, since I'm a coach in health and fitness, because um, I like like um, Angie and I, we do cook a weight together. Calories is always be careful what you buy and what you put in your in your body. So that means is yeah. Um, so so it's like oh, because uh, once you like when you prepare a meal, like lunch, breakfast, or dinner. Always be careful. Always read the count. Like when you go shopping, read the label so you know how much you're eating. Like there's um like nice. like, like, like so, um, zero grams or there's um like, a, like an almond milk that is zero gram sugar. Never buy coconut no. milk because coconut milk is, is too much Bullshit. sugar. So I so I, I, I so like Comparing labels, always be careful because weight is special in the that, that so many obesity going around and it's getting hectic. Always speak up because since I'm a leader, I'd also uh, always speak up to your peers about health because you have to be careful or when you compete. There are a lot of athletes that are not they're not competing that well because if you want to compete, always stay fit and always, always put your head up. Mm. Yes. Well, I was only asking about the shells because, like, I'm kind of doing like this low carb diet where I like moderate how much like I take in. Yeah. Um. I have it right here. So the daily carb is like one percent and four grains. Okay. It's very low. Because I, I, I use it yeah. sometimes. What's the serving size on it? Um, two shells. Oh, that ain't bad. Mm. That ain't bad. Oh. This is good. Because I, I, cause I usually do, because when I do my shopping, I already know exactly what I what I need. Like, if I, if I need milk or something like that, I won't, because I used to drink Two percent or one percent. I didn't like it though, and now I stick with soap because I love soap. Because soap is more like zero is zero calories. Same thing with water. Now with flavored water is mostly zero calories too. So whatever yeah. whatever you are usually buying off that shelf, you want to make sure you have everything that you need. It's going to be healthy for you mm -hmm. in your in your life, right. and that's why and that's why when when we do these cooking menus. We always want to make sure what we put in our mouths. We don't want to put anything mostly bad in our mouths and anything else so mm -hmm. not get sick. Yeah, I have to do like, like, I do like regular water. Sometimes I'll do almond milk. Like I eat a lot of protein and vegetables like eggs, meats and 
stuff like that. And there be and- there be times there be times when I usually do like one day if I'm in a mood, I'll usually do a smoothie or something like that. Mm-hmm. And usually I'll do a smoothie for breakfast. Yeah, I so that's yeah, for me, I, for me, I also watch what I eat, and I try to burn off the stuff that I eat, and uh, every day trying to move and good. My goal is like 10,000 steps per day, but mm-hmm. I try to beat it. So my goal for the summer is actually 25,000 steps in one day. I did uh-huh. 1,199 steps now still, and I still, and I still <laughs> keep doing my steps in there yeah. now. Yeah. Check my health up on my phone, but how myself I'm yeah. doing. <laughs> yeah, I have a Fitbit versus three, and that really helps me out a lot because it tells me like what my steps are, my heart rate, and that's been helping me a lot. That's good. Like, well, I have a nurse that comes like every week to like do like do my vitals and everything. Oh, and Deb, um. I'm looking forward to the May 11th training with Matt. Yes, yes. I'm glad you brought that up, Kimberly. Thanks. So um, Matt Netching is the chairman of our board of directors, and he's going to be our guest speaker on May 11th. So Mm -hmm. we're really excited to hear from him. And Kimberly works with him on the board, which is great. But he he asked, he's like, I want to talk to that group of Global Messengers. He requested to come talk to this group. And um, what's up? What day is that? Um, it's a, is it a Tuesday or Thursday. It's, it's the Thursday. The Thursday. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks. Bye, Bobby. On top of it. <clears throat> so yeah. on Thursday, I think he wanted to do four o'clock. He's doing. Yeah. Okay. Is, is, this, is, this is my day off. Ah, excellent. We planned that well. <laughs> Yeah, I know some one, of you guys are going to be starting um, your summer games training and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, come to the meetings or, you know, come to half of them or watch the recordings if you can't make it. I know, you know, we try to get times that work for everybody, but obviously we all have different schedules. So come when you can, stay as long as you can. And um, if you don't, I'll keep recording the sessions. But it's so great when we can do it in person, right? When we can all talk e- to each other about different yeah. things that we're thinking about and share our different yeah. ideas and and uh, questions and everything. So I really, I love that you're all taking the time to be a part of this group. Yeah, I'm really glad I went to the in person. That was fun. Yeah. And also, Deb, for that training, I was wondering if I could do the introduction speech for Matt, since both of us is on the board. What's up? If I can do the introduction speech for yes. Matt. Yes, we'll have you do the introduction for that one. Yeah, Natasha awesome. will do one in person and then you'll do the one for Matt. Absolutely. So we'll get a short little bio for you to read for him. Okay. I've always yeah. I've always okay. wanted to do a vile speech and everything else. So, but then I want I want to like try to like do like being uh, right. I know right now I'm actually I think on May 11th, I'm heading up to actually because I'm supposed to be heading up to the Capitol on the 4th for um for all for all people with disabilities right now for for the hearing and wow. i'm supposed to like like i said I, i'm supposed to be up there to hear to hear the people who are speaking about with a lot of a lot of people with with a uh, disability and we're trying we're trying to make sure we can like spread the word about that and everything else and that's why i want to bring it to you guys to our to our group for for Special Olympics, because we want people to mostly hear exactly what's going on. And I guess I'm supposed to be doing a video tomorrow. I got to do a video. I got to do a video tomorrow for the um, for for people with disability people with disability month. Because I want to see if I can try to get it out there. If I can get it out there and everything else, so uh, we c- we can make things work. If you guys, even though you guys get the video or something like that, if it comes okay. up, bring yeah. it up. I can bring it up and everything else. So at least, I, at least you guys know exactly what the deal is and everything else. Aaron, if you want to share that, we can share it with this group. Maybe even share it on our social media platform. So keep us. Yeah, that's not. That. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. I, I'm going to be working with. Um, I'm actually going to be working with um, uh, one of one of my guys uh, uh, tomorrow. Well, it's a good thing. I'm. It's a good thing I'm off tomorrow because tomorrow. I got to go to a film festival tomorrow though and I got to make sure we get I get we get everything it's else so done good. on time and everything else so cuz we want to try to send the video out and get it all set and ready to go. 
but I will, I will get it. I will get the video and I will see what I'll do to help that. We, if we can get it on special Olympics social media, you guys will see, see exactly. If you want to take a look, that's fine. We can do that. Sure. Yeah. Thanks I, for sharing that with us. And no, you, no I'm hearing from a lot of um, global messengers that you really want to do, um, mm -hmm. learn more about public speaking. So I really want to, I'm going to try to, you know, make a concerted effort to find somebody that can help us in that area. Cause um, I'm hearing a lot of you want more training in that area. So um, I'm going to try. You know, the, I, I just thought, I've just thought of something on everything else on. I know I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I just thought, I just thought of something though. I know that on the summer games, I know there's usually people speaking everything else. So when they do the summer games, I think that we should have maybe like one or two people like when people come in and they, they get agree, agreed with and everything else and have a person stand right there with a microphone and a camera and we can do, and we can just do like a, a, a Special Olympics report to all mm -hmm. the people. And then like we can do is we can get it on a loudspeaker and people can hear us and we could talk to the people and everything else. They say like, okay, what what is Special Olympics to you? What is what what is the best? What is the best day of you doing your sport? And 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 when you do it, what it what is your goal? You know, things like that we can talk Aaron, about and everything. You know else what? Like. I think you got. What if we did like a little Facebook Live or something at Facebook at Summer Games? Bingo. Right. That's exactly what I'm talking about. All right. All right. I love that idea. Oh my gosh. Well, well, but, but, but we but we need we need to do we need to try to see we can uh do it before before we can do it like if we got if we got people if we got people like myself or somebody who can most an area we can set up. Yeah, and, uh, we can do that and everything else, so I guarantee you it will come out live seriously okay, so time. we'll get to you in one second um i'm i'm thinking that if anybody is interested in doing yeah. that um like a, a, a kind of an interview facebook live thing at summer games get in touch with me yeah. and then we can kind of get a little group together to work on that i am interested uh, in that all right excellent yeah shoot yep, me, so me okay yeah. yeah. okay send me an email and then we'll get a little group together to I do that. Thinking, okay? In my oh, state, um, um, Connecticut, um, I, again, I am reading, I'm reading letters from our governor, Governor Lamont. I am thinking we could we could have him um, on the call because we have some really good questions okay. about him. Really, because I, I know his secretary and. I was wondering he can help us um, talking about um, mm -hmm. our government based on disabilities. I would I would like to know his prospect. All right, let's, let's talk about that offline, Natasha. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's hop over to Ryan. I know he's been waiting and then we'll go to the next person. I think I heard somebody yeah. else too. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, Deb, I have a question for Aaron. Sure, go ahead. Okay, Aaron, I think you are making a right approach so far. That's your number one thing. I support what you're doing. And my question for you is, is it for people first or are you doing it for both people first and Special Olympics? I'm doing I'm doing it for I'm doing it for I'm doing it for all. I'm doing it for people first. I'm doing it for Special Olympics. I I'm also I'm also on the board of uh, National Council of Self Advocacies. So we can have, so we also have rights on everything else, and people mm. on sub on sub advocacy groups. Mm. So we can all work together and mostly put input together. So when we do that, we can mostly talk to people in our in our groups and everything else. So with our sub advocacy groups, our Special Olympic groups, our NCAA, NCAAs groups. So all the groups that we need to mostly put all together. So we need to like get all information so we can give the information out to the community so we can tell them exactly who we are, not just on screen. I'm saying like in person. So we can say to people, hey, this is us. This is what we do. 
Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Thanks for being Thank on the you. Call. You're welcome. Thank you. Great stuff. John, did you have a question, John Berlante? Yeah. yeah. Um, Angie, um, Angie, do you, um, can, can this meal go with, um, with, you know, with, with other meals? Appetizer. I can't hear her. Yeah, same here. She I just like said, it, not, it not like a big meal, it is like a appetizer. I mean, could it, could it go with something like a side dish or something? Yeah, it could okay. go with like salad or whatever you want because it did like appetizers. Okay. I, because huh. it like instead of chips and salsa, mm. you make that. You put, you put the salsa in the chips. Basically. <laughs> but I mean, there you go. <laughs> No. All right. I, it looked like a side dish, but it looked very cool. So I just wanted to make sure that. It was eatable. Very, 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 very good and very healthy. Yes. Excellent. Nice job. Nice job. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Nice job, Angie. Nice job, good Angie. Job, Angie. Uh, yay. Thank you, All Angie. Right. I very think on that note, we'll wrap it up. What do you think, Angie? <laughs> Nice yeah. job. Very nice we job. Just call, we should just call it a Angie, a Angie the cook. Do <laughs> 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 you see my cookie video? Oh. Of course. Okay. Of Angie. Cookie I picked it on Iron I just have one more question. Oh, go ahead, Remy. Um, I know I missed the last session. I was wondering what I missed. Oh, sure. I'll send you um, with uh, Alexandra's coach, Jamie Warner. I sent you the link, but I'll resend it to you, Remy, right after this meeting so you could watch that on uh, on YouTube. Um, okay. Debbie, I sent you the message to you. Oh, you did? I did. Okay, great. It's on the Facebook. Oh, okay. I will look at it. Definitely. Okay. And Check it out on Facebook. And, and yeah, we posted that on Facebook. If everybody wants to go on there and give it a like, that would be cool. <laughs> and the, the thing is, I, I, I was trying to, to get to it, but I couldn't actually get to it in time because I was somewhere else and I was trying to so hard. And, you know, I go... It'll be Man, there you get to it, you whenever you get the chance. All right. Okay. Stanley, did you have another question? I saw your hand up there. Yeah, no, Albert. Yes. He was on mute right now. Yes. Don't say it. I'm happy to be caught up. <laughs> okay, does anybody else have any questions? I just want to make sure I get to everybody there. Oh, we're good. I'm good. We're good I'm to good. go. All right. If you do, we can just email them to Angie and she'll be happy to answer them, I'm sure. All right, Angie? Thank you, All right. Angie. Thank you, Angie. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to watch a you come this Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, I, I had them in my championship game, and that's the only team that I've left in my mouth when I was <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great night. We'll be in touch with you. Okay. All right, happy Bye. Easter. Bye. 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 Happy Bye. spring. Take care. Bye. And happy. Bye. <laughs>